Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby and today we're taking a trip to Ikea um, for new house moving reasons but I thought it was a perfect opportunity to do a little Ikea plant tour because I know you guys love them, I love them but I anticipate and hope to come home empty-handed because I do not need more plants to move to our new house. Um, but if I find something that's either a unicorn plant or a plant that I, I really love and I haven't ever seen it in person, I could be swayed. Um, but I hope you really enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. So when you go into Ikea and the one that's local to me anyway, you're always presented with the furniture first. So I always love to look at these, um, these new glass stands. Um, this is a new, new one. It's got mesh sides in the glass front, which I thought was quite good for ventilation. Um, and then obviously these are probably more um, cabinets you'd put trophies and stuff in, but I think they would double up really well. Um, then we went on to these. I thought these were really nice. I couldn't find any labels, so I put the thing on the screen, the name and the price. Um, I just think these are really cute and they're really nice to be able to hang in a shower. I definitely think I'd be after a little set myself when I can. And if you've been to Ikea recently, you will know that they are obsessed with fake flowers. They had a whole kind of like florist style um, situation going on. Um, absolutely adored this vase. Everyone can do with a classic glass vase. I thought it was beautiful. And likewise, over here, they had some really lovely stuff, um, just more glass vases, but this one in particular, I just thought was so pretty, very cottage-like, and that was seven pounds. And then we got to the real plants. Um, I have to say, lots of normal, common plants, which you would expect in Ikea. Not like the last time, unfortunately, but I've never seen this plant before. Um, I do show you what the name of it is um, at the end just now, but yeah, it was a really interesting one. It kind of has a fishtail vibe to it. And then lots and lots of succulents. I really, really like this one. It was really wacky. Had I not have told myself no more plants, Abby, I would have definitely have bought this one. Um, and they were priced really, really cheap. I thought they were really cute. Um, and then the rest aren't really my thing. Um, however, I do think this was really sweet, this trailing plant. classic anthurium never really been a fan of these but um they do make good gifts and they're relatively easy to look after and likewise with this as well i've never really been a fan of the bromeliads i thought this plant was amazing because i used to have so many of these from ikea back in the day when they were really small i mean they were much bigger ones but they were 22 pounds and i thought that was expensive um, and then obviously Ikea's take of a terrarium, which I thought was really cute. Um, a bit annoying that the sides were obviously dirty, but you've got some syngonium and little calethia in there. And then just your, your classic um, Santaveria. I always have to do this. I always have to pick them up and look at them because I just think they're the most hilarious thing. Um, and I do think seven pounds for these were really expensive as well, if I'm honest. And then this is the plant I picked up last time I came to Ikea and it still sits on my desk. I think it's really cute. It's another sun superior. I'm just showing you a quick overview of the huge fake plant section they have. I didn't really show you anything in there. Um, it was a bit too busy, um, but I really like the setup. Lots of like rattan, green, kind of natural timber look. I really like that look at the moment. Um, and then straight onto the pots. They had some really nice pots in, um, and likewise some nice stands as well. Um, I think these are all old stock, 
but it's really nice to get an overview of what they have. Um, so not too badly priced, like doubles as a side table. Um, and then these caught my eyes. I've wanted a bird of paradise for so long. Um, the house that we now live in has like 10, 11 foot ceilings, like it can take it. But I think 50 pounds is extortionate. So no thank you. And then I really, really love these scalloped edges. Like these were so pretty. But I don't know if it's just me, but eight pounds and six pounds for these. I think it's really expensive. What do you guys think? I love this color. I absolutely love this color. If it wasn't seven pounds, I would have taken myself one home, but. And then they now do some um, kind of like macrame style hangers as well, which I thought was really nice and on trend. And then in the warehouse, I'm not sure why in the warehouse because it's cold in there, but they had some really big euphorbia, so pretty and really like giant piece lilies. 50 pounds though, you know exactly what I'm going to say, extortionate. Um, I think Ikea's jumped on the let's up the prices train. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, as you can see, the consensus was they didn't have too many plants um, in Ikea. They had so many um, like fake plants and flowers, um, like artificial flowers, which is fine. But obviously, as a plant lover, it's not really what you want to see in Ikea. Um, however, we did go three times um, in the space of like 10 days because we just kept forgetting to buy things and stuff. Um, and the last time I went, which was such a flying visit, it was a Saturday lunchtime, it was so packed. Um, they they did have the same collection I had in my last IKEA plant tour. So they had um, Birkin, um, Enjoy, the Shidia, that kind of thing. So I'm not sure how they mix it up, how the buying team um, bring in the plants because sometimes they have more to choose from and sometimes they really just have like your succulents and stuff. But um, I was really keen on obviously the accessories. I thought they were really nice. They had loads of plant pots. I always remember IKEA having just the stereotypical like metal white pots and like the more simple, which are fine. I really like the simple terracotta, but um, just like a smaller collection basically. They had a really big collection. Um, and another probably common thing you heard me say was the prices. I was really surprised with the prices. Um, I just think everything is expensive now. Um, so no matter where I go, I'll always be like, oh my God, the price is so expensive. Um, but I think that's just the world we live in at the moment. So hopefully we see them come down, but I really doubt we will. Um, I just think seven pound for a simple green plant pot is a lot of money. I really, really liked it though. Um, but yes, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.